Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a video on this guy here, this beautiful collection behind me, which is the Bretman Rock X uh, Wet n Wild. And uh, before I jump into this video, I do want to like let you guys know this collection was sent to me. I don't want to say it's PR because I'm not on the PR list, but it was gifted to me, so it was PR. <laughs> it was a PR package. Um, but I asked you guys on Instagram if you guys wanted to see a video, and you guys said yes, which of course I love you guys for because I'm living for this palette. And you guys voted for blue, green, like this section of the palette. You guys said the left side. This is the left side, but it looks right. Does it look left on camera? I don't really know. But <laughs> you guys voted for this side of the palette, so that's what I played with today, aside from the gold and I look like a freaking peacock and I love it. You guys know I live for color and I feel like I haven't played with this color scheme in such a long time, but like, oh, don't mind my hair. It's in the ugly phase where I just wanna cut it. Anyways, so yeah, let's, let's do a quick thumbnail. All right, so the entire collection was sent to me. You're gonna see me use the entire thing. You're gonna see me use the highlighters, the brushes, the brushes, right off the bat go get them they're amazing they're beautiful they have like insanely good quality i'm sorry if that picked up on camera but there's three of them these two sell for 6.99 totally worth it and this one sells for 7.99 7.99 also worth it i feel like this one definitely reminds me of the motor brush which you guys know i live for swear by obsessed with but 7.99 and 6.99 however i don't want to talk about the prices too much if you are new here welcome to my channel i'm arlo q rosie on instagram also oh my gosh my head my, i'm like all over the place but i did apply for four squats so if you're watching this video pause this video and leave a testimonial down below also go follow me on instagram i'm arlo q rosie which is where most of you guys know me from if not then like i said go follow me there and while you're at it come back subscribe and enjoy my content okay but now i'm gonna go fight with my hair and i will see you at the end Okay, so first look at the palette. This is the Bretman Rock X Wet n Wild, and this shade range is amazing. Uh, I just love how colorful it is. You guys know me. I live for a colorful palette. The collection comes with three brushes. They sell for $6.99 and $7.99, and this one, I think, is for highlight, and these are two blending, and this is a crease brush. At least that's what I'm going to use them for, so be prepared to see that today. So I asked on Instagram what color you guys wanted me to see, what color you guys wanted to see me play with, and you guys voted for like this section here. So I am going to play with this area here, like this one. So we're gonna dip into this shade here, which is called Venomous. This is Venomous. I'm gonna tuck that in there. What? Did you test it to make sure that it sounds okay? <laughs> no. So I am gonna go a little bit over here towards my center I am going back in so I'm packing it a little bit more on than usual and then I'm gonna go into the shade here which is called anaconda like it's literally duh right there let's see gonna focus focus this one here and I'm going on the outer portion to blend that together I think the dryer stopped and then I'm gonna go into feeling myself, feline myself, like feeling myself. Yeah, it's feline myself, kind of like feeling myself. It's a cute little play on words. And then we're gonna blend those two together. Ooh. We're gonna take Flumming Ho, this one here. This is a kid friendly channel, but I'm sorry, I had to say it. And then we're gonna blend up. And then I'm gonna kind of saturate those colors a little bit more so so far they're blending pretty good i'm not seeing any like patchiness and the fall is super very minimal like uh, as far as a kickback on the palette i don't see any really there is some but i feel like that's unavoidable and i feel like there's no such thing as a perfect palette that doesn't do that not to make excuses for any palette but i just i have yet to see one that doesn't at all all right, so I'm gonna take this concealer. <laughs> this is in the shade medium 90W. This is from ColourPop. I'm gonna take the brush from the Bretman Rock collection. This is a bomb brush. Like I'm sure this is also used to clean up the brows, but we're just gonna use it to clean up the shadow for now. Oh, this is a good brush. Let me make sure it's $6.99. Yeah, it's $6.99. That's a good price for this brush. 
All right, so I'm gonna go into this shade here, which is deeply, no. I'm gonna go into deeper. I'm not gonna um, wonder why this is called deeper. I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying it to the lid. Oh. It picks nothing up. So I don't know if that's the actual shadow or just how cheaply I um, attempted to pick some up, but I'm going into this here, packing it on, and then I'm applying it. So this is kind of like a shimmer shade and the payout isn't amazing, but I love the shade. So as long as you're packing it on, you're going to see the payout, color payout that is. Oh, it's been a minute since I played with this like variety of colors or this range of colors. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, and this was Jesse's suggestion, which I'm 100% on board with. So between these two golds, we're gonna go into this one here, which is called King of the Jungle. So dipping into that one. This is for IGTV purposes. And then we're going to... Oh, Lord. Oh, my Lord. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. wanted color. Ooh, I wanted color too. So mm, I'm so excited. Um, I'm gonna take this here really quick. I'm gonna clean this up just a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna use my foundation, and the foundation I'm gonna be using is the city color one that I have been using, which is this one here. Sorry if that was loud. I'm just gonna dab a little bit. And then... I wanna see your pickup. Yes, honey. Your girl's feeling herself right now. Like feline, feeling herself, because I'm using that shade, but I also feel it myself. All right, I'm gonna finish the other eye off camera and we will be right back. And we are back. So for the inner eye, I kinda wanna use Prowl and I kinda wanna use the highlighter from the collection. So I think what I'm gonna do is, let me double check. Actually, let me swatch this one real quick. This is Don't Be a Lion. Um, my skin's, my hands are so dry. Uh, I feel like that's not bold enough. This is the Jungle Rock Loose Highlighting Duo in the shade Gold Lioness or Lioness. Um, mm -hmm. I played with these and these are so freaking gorgeous. So, so what I like about this particular like kit, actually I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go into this one, which I think is Lioness. Pretty sure it's Lioness. Is it has like the secure little pocket there, and that's what it looks like. Um, I did lotion up my hands, so I'm gonna use this and show you guys what this one looks like packed on. Like that shift is so freaking pretty. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna use that one in my inner corner just to kind of give it a little bit more color. And then while I'm here, I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch the other side for you guys. This is more of a regular highlight. Like the actual powder is a lot finer, whereas the other one's a little bit more chunky and has more of a glittery texture. So you guys can see, like, it, you guys can see the difference in formulas but the gold one, the rose gold one is so pretty. So I'm gonna be using the actual gold lioness on my cheek once I get there. But for now, let's, mm, let's just do the face. So I will be right back. Actually, I almost forgot before I go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prep with this. This is the Jungle Rock three, one face mist, three in one face mist, and it's the prep, set, and refresh. So I have been using the ColourPop one and I will just spray that all over my face, over my primer, and I did use a primer, I use just a tad bit of the Fenty one, not a lot, just a little bit, because I wanted to use this, and it does have a shimmer to it, so adding a little bit of concealer is, is perfectly fine, but it smells like heaven, and that's like a fine, like, super thick mist. I guess you would say that's the right word, I don't really know, but let me finish my face, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm going to go back into this shade here, which was Venomous, the, per the green, oh my god, that's adorable, and I'm going to... Pulling that under the eye. And I'm gonna go back into the blue shade, which was deeper. And then I'm gonna go back into the purple shade, which is feeling myself, feline myself, feeling myself. And... All right, I'm second guessing the bottom lash line, but we're gonna roll with it for a little bit. All right, so I am second guessing this. I might change it, we're not sure yet. I'm gonna go back into the highlighter. We're gonna go into Golden Lioness, which, yeah, Golden Lioness, which is the gold shade. 
hopefully that, that taps out a little bit. I might have to tap out more. And we're gonna use the face highlighting brush from the collection. Like look at the detail on these brushes. This is so stinking pretty and it's signature at the bottom. Ugh, I love it. So. Lord, I have seen what you've done for others. Um, I might have put a little bit too much that time. It's okay. I haven't put on blush, so now we're gonna go into blush. Now we're gonna go into blush. I went a little too overboard with, a little too overboard with highlight. This is in the shade Drop of a Hat from ColourPop. It's a cream blush. Y'all know I'm so obsessed with cream blush. Cream blushes. Got loud noises, Jesse. All right, so I'm gonna do lips next, and these are the three. These are the three shades that came with the collection. Um, one is fearless, one is ferocity, and one is freaky. So I am pretty in love with all three of them. So I am gonna go ahead and swatch them. Normally, if I you know wasn't feeling one shade over the other, what I would do is not swatch them, uh, just so that I can give them away. <laughs> but because I'm such a gloss person now, I know. Like four year year ago, Rosie is truly shook. Like she's like, no way, Rosie loves lip gloss because I never thought I'd be a lip gloss girl. Just never thought I would. I think what I'm gonna do is put it over a lipstick though, just because this look is so bold that I don't want my lips to look like so washed out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and these lips lip glosses are pretty damn nude, sheer if you would say. Ooh, that one's so pretty. So like Jeffrey and like Buxom, my two favorite lip gloss brands at the moment. Those, like the pigments are actually colorful. <gasps> this gold though, oh, that's like, probably my second favorite. So this is them swatched on the end here. This one here is Fearless. The middle one is Freaky and the one at the end is Ferocity. Let me get a little bit closer. So bottom to top is Fearless. Freaky and Ferocity. Ferocity is so pretty. I might be using that one. No, I think I'm gonna use Fearless. I think Fearless is gonna be the one I use the most from this collection. And we're gonna pair it with Jeffree Star's Thickest Thieves. While I wait for my lips to dry, I'm gonna set one more time with the Jungle Rock. Uh, Do me, Do me in the Jungle, that's what it's called. Like, if you look at it, like, look how gorgeous that is. Let me shake it. You can kind of see, ah! Yes, ma'am. Redman did that. All right. It smells kind of like coconuts. Also kind of like the same one from ColourPop. So I'm living for it because that smell is just like so comforting and makes me feel like my makeup's about to be snatched. Just say. Oh, these are gorgeous together. <gasps> Oh, I think I found my new favorite combo. Last but not least, the collection came with mascara. So the mascara sells for $7.99. The palette sells for $14.99. The dewy spray sells for, the dewy spray sells for $7.99. And then of course the duo sells for $7.99. So this is like a super affordable collection, but I'm gonna pop on some of this mascara. And then what I'm gonna do is apply some lashes. These are the sweetheart ones, which I've been swearing by. And I think that'll tie this look together. I'll change really quick and then we'll be right back and talk about it. back thank you guys so much for watching so really quick actually while I have you on camera I want to apply the highlighter to my tattoo so I'm gonna do that right now on camera we're gonna use the glue lioness we're gonna use lioness actually no it's called bronze tigress oh my god the entire video I was calling it lioness because it says gold lioness or lioness and then it says tigress I don't know if you can read that but I refer to it incorrectly so in the inner corner I actually have the 
bronze tigress so that's what i have on my inner corner so i did do a little bit i'm going to use the brush that came with the actual collection and we're just going to apply that there you can kind of see it it's not too over the top <laughs> shake 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 Sonora. all right you can see it. it's like a super subtle glow from this one let me use my finger come on guys all right so this is a little bit chunkier. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna blend it out. Like see how it like really doesn't apply thick at all, which I love. But it made my tattoo look super pretty. Like super pretty. All right, I hope you like this video. I hope you like this look. I know my hair is a mess, so don't even comment on that. But as far, also my brows, oh my gosh. Like when I started recording this, I looked at the playback and I was like, ah, bad. But I do love this collection. So as far as the dew goes, this is like super gorgeous. Like sprayed on my chest and you can't see the shimmer which I love you can kind of see it but not too much which is good because it's also used for prepping and priming it smells so good it smells amazing it smells like coconuts so that one sells for $7.99 the mascara I was so impressed with it and I wish I had taken a video of it but I'm really weird about putting mascara on in my lashes I don't know why I always get off camera you guys know that but it like drugstore mascara is where it's at. Like I stand by 90% of drugstore mascaras. I think they're so underrated and I do like recommend them. Next up are the glosses. So I use this one. This is Fearless. Yeah, Fearless over Jeffree Star's Thickest Thieves. And I think the combination is just so beautiful. I did swatch them earlier. So if you skip to this part, then you guys missed out on a lot. You missed out on like the best part of the video. I'm just kidding. <laughs> But talk about the palette. The palette sells for $14.99 and it's gorgeous. Like the shade range is beautiful. I want to play with this side a little bit more and more. I don't want to say wearable looks because I'm dying to play with this red. Like, let's swatch it a little bit. Okay, all right. It looks a little orange on camera, but it is actually looks a little orange on my hand. It is supposed to be red, so I'm going to pack that on a little bit, see what I can do. If you guys want to see another video with the palette, let me know because I would love to play with it some more. And I think I'm going to play with it, whether or not it's here or on Instagram. By the way, go follow me there if you're new here. RLK Rosie, Instagram, link down below. And then come back here and subscribe. The one shade I did have trouble with was this one here, which is deeper. And it wasn't so much, I could have been the brushes, but I did use two different types of brushes, but I had to go back into it and kind of scrape the pan a little bit. The top coat was not as pigmented as I would have wanted it to be. The rest of the shades applied gorgeous. Like I used two, 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 and two. So I used six different shades plus the Linus Goddess on my uh, inner corner. I love this look so much. I didn't have trouble applying it on this one as much as I thought I would because usually this is like my troublesome line. Didn't have trouble. So once again, this collection actually has my seal of approval. I love it, especially because it's colorful and I think Bretman is an amazing creator. I've been watching Bretman for years, like since like Bretman was recording behind that like curtain. You know what I'm talking about? That she like, anyways, just do like random videos. I love Bretman so much. So congratulations to Bretman. And of course, thank you Wet n Wild for sending this to me. And of course, thank you so much to Wet n Wild for sending me this collection. I absolutely love it. Really appreciate it. And I get to share with you guys. So I hope you guys liked it. If you guys picked up this palette, let me know down below. I'm curious to know what you guys think of it. If you guys are loving it, you guys are hating it. If there's anything that you guys are having trouble with and you guys want to see me play with, let me know. But of course, if you did not like this video, please just walk away, pretend it did not happen. And as for the rest of you guys, I will see you in the next video.